In a surprising turn of events, Texas emergency management officials have opted for an unconventional method, chartering a private plane to transport at least 91 migrants to Chicago. This marks the first instance of a private plane being utilized by the state for such a purpose, signaling a potential escalation in Republican Governor Greg Abbott's efforts to influence the political landscape and stir discord among Democratic voters. Mayor Brandon Johnson, speaking to WTTW News, Chicago Tonight, Black Voices, suggested that Abbott's intentions were to create chaos throughout the entire country, with Chicago being a targeted focal point. The plane, originating from El Paso, Texas, landed at O'Hare International Airport, carrying migrants who had crossed the southern border and sought asylum due to economic collapse and political instability. Surprisingly, the arrival caught Chicago officials off guard, prompting them to involve the Chicago Police Department. According to reports shared with WTTW News, the plane's tail number was traced back to the Texas Division of Emergency Management. Notably, two individuals, identified as handlers, managed to flee the plane and evade questioning by jumping into an Uber. While Johnson's office initially indicated 150 individuals on the plane, this figure was later revised. The migrants are currently residing at O'Hare, adding to the nearly 300 people already living there. Abbott's spokesperson mentioned that 120 people were on the flight, framing it as the first to Chicago, especially as the city tightened regulations on buses not adhering to drop-off rules. Mayor Johnson accused Abbott of attempting to circumvent city laws and criticized him for hiring buses that dropped off migrants in the middle of the night without proper accommodations. In response, Abbott's press secretary Andrew Mahalaris defended the action, linking it to Chicago's perceived failure to comply with the Welcoming City Ordinance. There are conflicting reports on the exact cost of the flight and whether it was funded by Texas using state or federal funds designated for migrant care. In addition to the flight, three buses paid for by Texas officials arrived in Chicago, with more expected. The situation adds strain to Chicago's already challenged capacity to accommodate migrants, a problem exacerbated during Mayor Johnson's tenure. The city has seen a significant influx of migrants since August 2022, with 607 buses carrying almost 26,100 people, primarily fleeing economic and political turmoil in Central and South America. Mayor Johnson placed blame on Abbott for the challenging conditions migrants face upon arrival, citing a still unexplained death of a five-year-old in a Pilsen shelter. The situation underscores the ongoing tensions between various communities in Chicago and the strain on the city's resources in addressing the needs of incoming migrants.